All right, okay, so we've got an interesting one here. Um, I might just actually reposition my. Let's just put this down. Let me just pause the video a minute. All right, back to where we were. So I paused it because I've only ever seen this once before, so these are rare. So it does have the bracer in here. Um, but I've noticed this. Let's just get in on this. Now this has never been opened, um, and there was a lot of dust in here. But twenty ten ten. What's that? So those are the two things immediately, and I also noticed. Let's take the bracer out. This. Is 40. Now, what I did notice on this machine, and this is the one with the emotion chip in it, so well, I, I think it is. Yes, it is. As you can see. So, it is all the original pads, and some have obviously stuck to the motherboard. We've got another 10, 1022-102. Right, is that an error code? I don't know. It's, um, so we've got 40, we've got 1022-102. We've got 2010-10. So yeah, look, 2010-10. We've got this written on the board, 1022-102. So, I'm gonna pause the video a minute. I'm gonna clean up the rest of this, and then I think we're going to have a look and see what we've got here. This. Yeah. Anyway, pause the video, clean it up, back in a moment. Right guys, so, um, yeah, I decided, I mean, I wasn't recording this refurbishment, um, but I've decided to stop what I was doing because I've seen this, which says 40, and then this board has not been opened before. It's still had this Sony warranty seal on it. And I'm very good at detecting whether somebody's taken it off and put it back on because that's what I do. And it looked absolutely from from factory or at least from a Sony refurbishment centre that then reseals it uh, with a brand new seal. So, so yeah, we have got 1022-102. If you look at the Syscom chip here, there's a marker pen here and then there's a marker pen here. So there's marker pen, and then there's a 40, and then on the back we have got 2010 10, and it also has the bracer for the back, um, which helps preventing board warping. Now, okay, so <laughs> um, what does all this mean? Well, it could mean a number of things. But the first thing I do need to check is this RSX. And we don't need to delid it to check it. Um, I just need to basically get the It was interesting because I, I was having real problems warming this up as well. I had to stick it on 20% pan speed and not let it go up. And then basically when it got to 79, 80 degrees on the CPU, that was it. It was time to shut it down. Otherwise this thing was not warming up because the moment it went up to 25% fan speed, 
it stuck it like to 68 67 degrees on the CPU and in the low 50s on the RSX so yeah Okay, let's see what this is. Is it just a 90 nanometer or is this a refurbishment by Sony? I'm just coming down now to see if I can... Right. I'm just going to have to take this for a second so I can get it closer to me. Get my magnifying glass on it. It's a 5.3... CXD 5.3.0. This is a 40 nanometer, guys. This is a 40 nanometer chip. Pretty sure. So let's go CXT53 00DGB. CXT53. Well, all the 5.3 revisions are 40 nanometer. I'll probably, let me just get it on there. CXD5300. It does say DGB. And there's an AGB. Oh no, 5.3. And there's a 5.3.01 DGB. But this says 5.3. CXD5300 DGB is a 40 nanometer. It's a 40 nanometer chip. Well, there you go. So I think we need to get this documented. We have a sticker that says 40 there, bit of a giveaway. <laughs> If I get in close here, you can see, there you go, you can see the revision, CXT 5300DGB. All the 5300 is an AGB, but not a D, the 00, but this is, <laughs> there is no 5300 revisions of even a 65 nanometer. This is 40 nanometer. There's the EGS. COK001 come in you can see there's the revision they have this here 101022-102 and we have this on the back 201010 so I'm guessing that's 2010 10 it could be the date it could be something else it does look like this could be a code I'll mind you 1022 <laughs> 201 no no so this could be a code which is the 1022-102-102 and they have put marker pen on the Syscon um, so when you come to the Syscon this side They have marker penned it here and then they put a marker pen on there as well. I don't know if that signifies anything either or whether it's just that they've read the Syscon. Um, so yeah, we have 
a 40 nanometer. I mean, it's running so well, I'm not even going to delete it. All this needs is repasting and putting back together again. I mean, there was, there was a case to say it didn't even need that. Um, I'm kind of gutted. These are, I picked this up for 150. It came with a controller and all the leads and everything. Um, he had three of them. So I'm kind of gutted. <laughs> Can you imagine if all three of them were like this? I doubt it though. But I have got lucky. And we do have a 40 nanometer one here. So, um, yeah, this is gonna go in a nice white case. And uh, yeah, 40 nanometer from stock. This has been done by Sony. It's had the original warranty seal on. And I must say, the RSX just runs absolutely like a dream. Because I, I couldn't, I was putting it on The Last of Us, and I think on, stop, on, on Syscon, it, it wasn't going above 55 degrees on 25% fan speed, which is just like, you normally need it to go a bit higher than that. So the only thing this would be um, prone to is the board warping which we have here so yeah I think in the interests of um, the community we need to this would be good to be repro reproduced I don't know if it could be 3d printed it feels like plastic I'm not gonna bend it but it feels like plastic um, so yeah we'll just replace the pan to replace the paste this is running absolutely like it would do if it was fully delidded at the moment. And um, yeah. Just wanted to get that documented. We we do have a 90 nanometer on a COK001 board. Wow. Wow guys. Wow wow wow. Whoever buys this is going to be very, very happy. Um, it won't be cheap though, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, because I've, I've done what? Probably about, I've probably refurbished around about 200 consoles and this is the first time I've seen it. So that's like a half a percent chance of even getting one of these. Um, it did have 1701 errors, 1701. But I'm guessing that could have been why Sony opened this up transplanted the new chip everything runs fine right guys peace